The deep men for USC, Albert Watts on the near side, Lonnie White on the far side to receive the kickoff by Van Tiffin of Alabama. And the fourth annual Aloha Bowl is underway. Lonnie White, one yard deep, going to try to run it out up over the 20 to the 25-yard line. He's spilled on the 25-yard line by Chris Good. Again, a single back offense. Wide outs are to the left. Cormier is a slot back on the left on a second down and nine. He wants to throw just a quick out. Hits Lonnie White. He has some running room. Right up over the 30 to around the 32 yard line. Calling the signals, Rodney Pete in motion goes Joe Cormier. Pete looking for John. Hits Cormier. First down over the 35 to the 40 to about the 42 yard line. First and 10 USC. Chris Spurl to do the putting. He averages 38 yards per punt. A freshman from Fountain Valley. A low snap, but he gets it away. Air catch called and made. Third down on the win. Alabama now shooting. Show a little shovel pass to his quarterback. Turner. Turner gets a hook for a first down over the 25 to the 27 yard line. Brought down finally by Marcus Cotton. After getting over the 30 to around the 33, picked up about six. You see the first quarter scoring opportunities. USC and Alabama. Jelks, the freshman running back, has the first down easily, just shy of the 40 yard line. It'll be first and 10, Alabama. Mike Shula calling signals, first and 10. Play action. Shula gets one away to Alabama. First down at the 47 yard line of USC. First and 10, Alabama. Gene Jelks gets the inside handoff. Jelks gets inside the 45 to about the 42-yard line to pick up around three or four. They had to replace two great ones, Jack Del Rio, and Green Pickett. In motion goes Al Bell. Gene Jelks looks for a block, has the first down inside the 35 to the 32-yard line of USC. Finally stopped by Tim McDonald and Jerome Tyler. This will be a 48-yard attempt by Van Tiffin, who's long as 57. Set Bama career records for field goals, 17. He's got his foot into it. It's long enough, and it is good. A 48-yard field goal by Van Tiffin. the first down at the 30-yard line. Finally stopped by Larry Roberts. Just short of a first down. It'll be second down, a half a yard to go for the first down for USC. Kennedy Pola, the fullback, has the first down to the 33-yard line before he's tripped up. Illegal motion, a five-yard penalty, so it'll be first and 15 for USC. They have it at their own 28-yard line. That's a quarter. To the 40 yard line. So it's a second down and three for USC. They have it at their own 40 yard line. Ryan Knight has some running room. First down over the 45 to the 47 yard line before he's dragged down at the 47. Second down and 10 in motion. Lonnie White. Draw play to Ryan Knight. Ryan Knight over midfield into Alabama territory. Dragged down by Wayne Davis, who has a host of tackles for Bama. Long deep man for Alabama, Greg Richardson. High punt. Richardson runs out of the way, hoping it'll go into the end zone. But SC is down there to down it at the two-yard line. Mike Shula's looking at 98 yards of football field, first and 10 at their own two-yard line for Alabama. It is to the fullback, Craig Turner, up over the five to about the six-yard line before he's hauled down by Sam Otto. Third down three in motion is Clay Whitehurst. Pitchback goes to Jelks. Jelks trying to get outside. USC is there. He'll be close to a first down of the 12-yard line. That was stopped by the inside linebacker. Very impressive play. Chris Moore doing the putting. He was seventh in the nation in putting. Tim McDonald lets it bounce, and it'll be down by Alabama at the 37-yard line. Will be 
Going to position six for our network stations. First and 10 USC, they have good field position. They're on 37. Rodney Pete, the quarterback. Play action pass. Pete looking deep. Got his man. First down to 10 Henry. Henry, the sophomore from Fresno, finally stopped by Vernon Wilkinson, but a big game for USC. Pitch back to Ryan Knight. Looks for a block from Pola. He gets it, tries to get outside, but a good defensive play by Derek Thomas. There's a penalty marker down on the play, however. When a back is breaking away from you. Penalty is five yards for grasping the face mask. It's still first down. A first down and two call for Rodney Pete. Cormier in motion. Ryan Knight picking his way. Close to a first down. He was brought down on the play by Todd Roper, a senior linebacker. Rodney Pete right up the middle. His tight end, and he gets to around the 20 yard line, does Eric McKee before he stopped by Todd Roper. A third down and three, USC in motion, Cormier. Rolling out is Pete. Penalty marker down. There's a flag on the play. A penalty marker to be sorted out. Let's pick it up. Play, we had an illegal shift. We had two men in motion on the offense, moving at the same time. Did not get reset for a second. Third down and eight USC. Pete calling the signals. He looking upfield, going for the bundle. Well covered, incomplete. It was intended for Ken Henry. There's a, there's a flag down right now. Okay. Unnecessary roughness against Alabama. Cormier in motion. Aaron Emanuel to the short side of the field. Inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Cornelius Bennett the tackle for Alabama. Kevin McClain will hold for a 24-yard field goal attempt for Don Schaefer. The kick is up and it is good. And we have a tie game. 9.36 left to play in the first half with a score, Alabama 3, USC 3. Chris Moore to punt. Tim McDonald in solo safety, a low line driver gets the roll. McDonald at the 35. McDonald is nailed at the 41 yard line by Derek Thomas. Aaron Emanuel met right at the line of scrimmage and met hard at the line of scrimmage for no gain. The ball popped loose. Alabama has recovered. Mike Shula brings him out and he sends Al Bell in motion. And off to Humphrey and Humphrey bulldogs his way to about the 35. A penalty marker down the play. Sam Otto making the hit for USC. Holding. Offense still first down. Second down and 20 for Alabama. They have the ball at midfield. Shoot a little shovel pass to Turner. Turner jumps out of one tackle. He's finally hit by Matt Johnson. Turner, the fullback, caught 25 passes during the regular season. Third down and 12, Alabama. Shula blitz his pick up nicely, but now Shula runs out of time, and he is dropped by Ron Brown at the 45-yard line. And then you see Ron Brown coming in and doing the cleanup job. Angling toward the far sideline, the punt by Chris Moore takes a USC bounce into the end zone, so the men of Troy will have it first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Troy Richardson will do the kicking for USC. Greg Richardson is back in solo safety for Alabama. Richardson didn't call the fair catch, and he paid for it down there in a hurry was Junior Thurman. 4-12 to play in the first half. Scrambling, gets it away, and is caught for a first down at the 44-yard line of USC, caught by tight end Thornton Chandler. Let's pick up the referee. Offensive pass interference, loss of down, second down. Chris Moore will do the punting, seventh in the nation, averaging 45 and one-tenths yards per punt. McDonald, the deep man, takes it at the 40. McDonald back up to midfield and into Alabama territory. The ball pops loose, but the officials have blown it dead. They have the win, so they're going to have to really use a lot of speed. Look for those guys and down the other guys. Up high. Punts it high, not real deep. Fair catch called and made by Greg.
Greg Richardson. So Alabama will have it first and ten, and they'll have it at their own 17-yard line. Alabama fourth in the all-time NCAA list of wins. Here's his fullback turner, and he turns it up over the 20 to about the 22-yard line. Al Bell is wide to the right. In motion comes Jelks. Turner again gets the handoff, and the big fullback has the first down to the 29-yard line. But the trap and the draw have been big plays for him, and I look for them to use that in this drive as they try to get in scoring position. Show play action. Jelks is wide open. He makes the catch at the 34, cuts back, and gets up to around the 38. There's a marker down on the play. He'll be about a yard short of the first down. Well, okay. Cliff. Offense. Still first down. Okay. First down, 19. Shooter gets a quick pass away. And Craig Turner is fullback, and he gets over the 30 to the 31-yard line. They're down eight for Alabama. They have it at their own 31-yard line. Shoot again. Flushed out of the pocket. Has some running room. He gets to about the 40. I think he has the first down and does. Good scramble by Mike Shula. Second down and 10 for Alabama. They have it at their own 40-yard line. Shula has Al Bell wide open. Bell over the 40 to the 39. There is a penalty marker on the play, however. And let's pick up the referee. Motion. Offense. Still second down. Can't keep those good players out too long. <laughs> second down. Shula. Let's be Marcus Cotton was one of them, along with big number 91, Matt Court. Matt Court, 6'6", 245 pounder. What a brilliant student he is, too. A 3'7 student in business administration. One guy, again, you can see this pressure, and SC doesn't play a lot of man coverage, but they're playing it now. And you can see a lot of people getting in there, putting a lot of pressure. Again, Ron Brown is a specialist on the pass rush. So that's the end of the first half with the score, Alabama 3, USC 3. Schaefer a driving kickoff, Humphrey one yard deep will bring it out. Humphrey has some running room, Humphrey to the 44 yard line before he's brought down on the 44. First and 10 at their own 10 yard line, Mike Shula. And off Jelks. Jelks has some running room. He gets 10 to the 20 yard line. First and 10, Alabama. They have it at their own 21 yard line. Jelks gets the call again. Jelks picks up about five before he's driven out on the far side by Jerome Tyler. It'll be a second down and call it five. Inside handoff to Craig Turner. Fullback running room before Jim McDonald drives him down at the 37 yard line. Bobby Humphrey is in a tailback for Alabama now on a first and ten. Bobby Humphrey gets the call, but this one will be called back. Flags down on the play. The illegal procedure, Alabama, they add to their penalty total. It's now up to 83 yards. Sends Humphrey in motion on a second down and long. Shula gets it to the sideline to Al Bell. Good move by Bell. He is... 44-yard line finally dragged down by Lewis Brock, but what a great effort by Al Bell. And they really haven't been able to get it. I think that's a good job of the domination of the USC's line up front. This more the far sideline. Not where he wanted to. Well, this is going to be an important punt for Troy Richardson because that seed didn't move the ball at all. And if they can get the ball and get it down inside the 35-yard line with the wind behind them, they should be in pretty good shape. Low line drive punt. Greg Richardson at his 44. Good move. Greg Richardson to the USC 42-yard line. First and 10 Alabama. They have it at their own 40, or rather at the USC 42-yard line. Jelks behind the block from Craig Turner gets to the 35 before he's brought down by Tim McDonald. down Alabama at the USC 27. SC's having one guy in there on his plays. That's not good. Again, Bobby Humphrey, and he gets to the 20-yard line. 
he'll be a couple of yards short of a first down. Brent Moore making the stop for USC. Two down linemen, kind of a flow type defense, and probably come with a blitz. Two tight ends, two fullbacks again. Same play, Craig Turner first down. Second down and eight for Mike Shula. They have the ball at the USC 15-yard line. Al Bell goes in motion. Bobby Humphrey spins inside the 10 to around the seven or eight, and there are penalty markers down. Bobby Humphrey, a freshman running back, scored four touchdowns rushing three of them Steering by the defense, automatic first down at the three and a half. It's Turner. He's up there. Well, they tried. Craig Turner from Gaithersburg, Maryland, the senior who had four touchdowns during the regular season, goes airborne, and the Crimson Tide takes a 9-3 lead with a conversion attempt coming up. And this is really going to be a key for SC to stay in this ball game. They're down eight. Rodney Pete gets a wobbly pass, and he is caught, dropped, caught again for a first down for USC. Alabama showing blitz. They don't do much of that. Rodney Pete over the middle. It is intercepted by Kermit Kendrick. Kermit Kendrick over the 50. Kermit Kendrick finally wrestled down at the USC 44-yard line. Saw who was sprawled all over Rodney Pete, number 97, Cornelius Bennett. This is Gene Jelks, and Jelks has substantial yardage inside the 40 to about the 38-yard line. We've been bringing passengers here for the last uh, 15 years with a number two carrier and trying hard to be number one. <laughs> and I guess your involvement in the Aloha Bowl will continue. I certainly hope so. It's a first down and 10 Alabama. They have it at the USC 34 yard line. Inside handoff. That's Doug Allen, a sophomore fullback. Second down and four call for Shula. Here's Hump. Here's Jelks rather inside the 25 to the 24 yard line. He'll be close to a first down. Stopped by Brent Moore. They're down a half a yard to go for a first down for Alabama. Play action pass. Shula's going for it all. And it is a call for a touchdown by Clay Whitehurst. Third down and a half yard to go for a first down they went for the bundle and a Schuler to Clay Whitehurst touchdown reception of 24 yards third down and 10 for USC Rodney Pete he is in trouble and he is sacked back at the 12 yard line sacked by John Hand 17-3 Alabama I am short Takes a lateral hop, and Alabama will start in good field position at the SC 44. Second down and seven call for Shula. Humphrey, the running back. Humphrey, good move. Still on his feet to the SC 29-yard line. They're trying to get that extra down line, and they're give him a little bit of help against the run. Humphrey again. Humphrey picking up around three or four before he's clamped down by Matt Johnson. Second down and five, it's Humphrey again. Humphrey inside the 20 to about the 19-yard line of first down, brought down by Keith Davis. If they do blitz, this is the time, and they are coming. Ball at the 19-yard line. Humphrey cuts inside. He's hit hard by Mike Serpa, the freshman linebacker from Tracy, California for USC. It's a third down and about five call for Mike Shula at the 14-yard line of USC. Reverse to Al Bell. He's got blockers in front of him. Bell, touchdown, Alabama. Rodney Pete, some pressure, gets a screen away, but boy. Receiver was hammered immediately by Wayne Davis. Pass was complete to Zeph Lee, but for lost yardage. Rodney Pete just a quick out to Henry, and Henry gets over the 20 to about the 24-yard line. He's looking at a third down call. McLean lost one for Henry. Great at the 40. 
25-yard line of Alabama. What a fine grab by Henry with Vernon Wilkinson right on his numbers. McLean has only tossed two passes during the regular season. He completes that one to Cormier, who tries to squirt for extra. He gets down to around the 38. He'll be short of the first down, stopped by Derek Thomas. They have it at the Alabama 35-yard line. Cormier, the man in motion. Going to be close. Real close. That, that is going to be close. That's going to be. It looks like he might have gotten with the dive. You know, I they, don't think he did. Here go our, our cameras are on the mark. Didn't make it. Didn't make it. You're right. Did but not make it. What do you think? Four inches there. <laughs> Boy, tremendous punt. It'll go all the way into the end zone and be brought back out. And USC will start at their own 20-yard line. So more made up for the 16-yard punt earlier. Back, looking downfield, decent protection over the middle. Got Ken Henry, first down at the 37-yard line. Well, they're going with their one-back set. This is their primary passing uh, formation. Three receivers to the wide side of the field. Right over the middle to his tight end McKee, and he'll have a first down at midfield. Toward the far side. to the 44-yard line. Freddie Robinson gets it back for the Crimson Tide. Third down, 11 for Alabama. Just trying to run the clock out. Rolling out is David Smith, and Smith gets into USC territory to the 49 before Elbert Watts brings him down. This game is winding down, and Alabama has won the fourth annual Aloha Bowl from Aloha Stadium. That's the end of the game with a score, Alabama 24, USC 3. We'll be back with some final words right after this.